American aviation has always been a field for bold experiments and radical ideas. But when it comes to hypersonic speed, courage alone is not enough. A true revolution is needed. This is where the Hermes team comes to the rescue with their hypersonic quarter horse preparing to usher in a new era of flight, where distances are compressed to a minimum and speed becomes the measure of success. Rockets with high-speed engines and U.S. spacecraft have long reached hypersonic performance, and only hypersonic flight in the atmosphere on a passenger airliner still remains an unconquered horizon for aviation. Some of you here will rightly remember the Concorde, but… Firstly, this legendary aircraft reached a top speed of 1,354 miles an hour, which is impressive, but to put it mildly, falls short of hypersonic speed with its threshold of Mach 5 or 3,836 miles per hour. And secondly, the last Concorde flight occurred more than 20 years ago, in November of 2003, when on the way to the Museum of Flight, the G Boag aircraft set a flight speed record from New York to Seattle of 3 hours 55 minutes and 12 seconds. Moreover, due to restrictions on supersonic flights in the United States, Canadian authorities even had to allow most of the G Boag journey to fly at supersonic speed over sparsely populated Canadian territory. As you know, a sacred place is never empty, so right now, startup company Hermius intends to not only compensate for the loss of Concorde, but also surpass it in every sense, offering passengers a flight from New York to London in just 90 minutes. Concorde was able to cover this route in only 2 hours 52 minutes and 59 seconds, which is also cool, but no longer reaches the ambitions of the team of AJ Pipica, CEO of Hermius, who managed to bring talented engineers from SpaceX and Blue Origin under his wing. These individuals were united not only by a love of innovation, but also by the desire to bring new space to aviation, which in the case of space meant providing cheap access to travel to orbit for millions of people around the world. In aviation, they first have to fly you across the Atlantic in 1.5 hours. Thus began work on the Quarter Horse, an unmanned hypersonic prototype whose initial task was no less than to break the record of the legendary Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance aircraft. To achieve such immodest results, an impressive engine would be required many times more powerful than the Pratt & Whitney J-58 installed in that very Blackbird, capable of instantly overtaking any enemy missile of that time at a speed of more than Mach 3. But here too, the Hermes team decided not to take the easy way out, developing its own engine, Chimera, which without a doubt was not only a reference to the fire-breathing monster of the same name from Greek mythology, but also an extremely apt name for a hybrid engine. Chimera is a turbine-based combined cycle TBCC engine, that is, it takes the best from a gas turbine engine, turbine jet, turbojet, and a ramjet, scramjet engine, and mixes them together. The point is that turbojet, ramjet, and scramjet are three forms of jet propulsion, but with a number of fundamental differences. Turbojets launch from a standstill at speeds greater than Mach 2, but are not capable of maintaining a hypersonic speed of Mach 5 or higher. Ramjets, scramjets, on the other hand, handle great at Mach 5, but are extremely unstable at low speeds. Therefore, you need to combine them so that the strengths of each compensate for their shortcomings. Hermes used readily available off-the-shelf gas turbine engines for testing, saving billions of dollars in development costs and years off its already busy schedule. They were able to build and successfully test their own engine for just $18 million over a period of only 21 months. In November of 2022, they demonstrated the transition from a turbojet to a ramjet engine, which became one of the startup's main technological achievements on the way to reusable hypersonic carriers. The conventional turbine part of the TBCC Hermes was represented by the General Electric J85 turbojet engine, an extremely popular solution found in the Cessna A37 Dragonfly, Northrop F5, Northrop T38 Talon trainers, and many other aircraft. According to open sources, these engines have already flown more than 16.5 million hours, and the U.S. Air Force intends to use them until 2040. But what if you need even greater results? Continuing experiments on Chimera as the basis for the second version, Chimera 2, Hermes chose the Pratt & Whitney F-100 turbojet engine used in the American McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle and General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon fighters. 
Moreover, these ones flew a total of not 16.5 million, but more than 30 million hours as part of the Air Force services within dozens of different nation states. Consistent with their fundamentals, Hermes has developed and manufactured in-house the other engine components including the inlet, precooler, ram burner, and bypass system. All of them will be scaled for subsequent integration into the improved Camara 2, which will be installed in Dark Horse. But wait, what's Dark Horse? This is a question many of you might have at this point in the video. The fact is that Hermes intends to create not one, but three aircraft at once. In addition to the quarter horse, we'll also see a multi-mission hypersonic UAV for defense and national security missions, and the Halcyon, a passenger aircraft capable of covering over 125 transoceanic routes at speeds five times faster than any current commercial aircraft. But for now, we'll stay focused on the quarter horse. The Hermes team began 2024 with the completion of tests of its Quarter Horse MK0 ground stand used to test various systems and their integration into the vehicle. Along with this news, a short roadmap was published consisting of four versions – MK0, MK1, MK2, and MK3. Testing of the MK0 was successfully completed at the Air Force's Arnold Engineering Development Complex AEDC, in Tullahoma, Tennessee and benchmarks reached included demonstrating remote command and control taxiing, evaluating radio frequency, RF latency, and ground handling qualities of the integral systems, demonstrating proper state of the vehicle and flight deck during lost link, demonstrating human factor evaluations and pilot in the loop steering and controls. The company said it designed and built the MK0 in just six months, achieving its test targets in 37 days, which is nothing short of impressive. Especially considering the fact that by March of this year, Hermes had already presented the next stage, the Quarter Horse MK-1, which will take to the air at the end of 2024 from the legendary Edwards Air Force Base. The engineers prepared this plane in seven months, setting for themselves a new crazy standard for the pace of iterations, one plane per year. The main purpose of this remotely piloted vehicle is to demonstrate high-speed takeoff and landing a key enabling capability unique to future hypersonic aircraft of the company's roadmap. However, if the MK-0 and MK-1 feature Camara engines based on the General Electric J-85, then in the Quarter Horse MK-2, we'll finally see the Camara 2 with its core in the form of the Pratt & Whitney F-100, plans for which Hermes representatives were more than happy to share with the public. In May of 2024, Hermes began testing its proprietary cooling technology with the F-100 engine, marking the first major milestone in the development of the MK-2 engine. Thanks to the combined engine with this pre-cooler, the third iteration of the Quarter Horse will be able to reach speeds of up to Mach 2.5. The goal of the roadmap at this stage is to break the sound barrier and demonstrate autonomous supersonic flight below Mach 3. Well, the decisive step will be the MK3 version in which Hermes will be able to demonstrate turbojet to ramjet mode transition in flight and break the all-time airspeed record held by the SR-71 Blackbird. In general, the path to the future of hypersonic travel today lies through overcoming the Quarter Horse MK3 threshold at Mach 4. So far, Hermes has yet to set a date, but is watching the pace of production closely along with the team's follow-through so the word soon isn't as vague as it could be. Moreover, it's not for nothing that NASA, the US Air Force, and even the father of ChatGPT, Sam Altman, believed in the startup, providing it with substantial funding worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Do you think Hermes will be able to live up to the expectations and break the SR-71 record in 2025? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more content like today's. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.